The girl grew up in a bravo, so at the age of 12, she is more mature and feminine than the average girl. But this temperament does not give her extra privileges, but rather to be manipulated in every way. On that day, her mother gave birth to another brother. Violet looked at her mother's painful face on the bed and was a little overwhelmed. But more than that, she was happy. She was like a happy bird in the bravo, passing the news that it's a boy. However, when everyone heard it, they all looked regretful. After all, a girl is more valuable in a brothel than a boy. Violet didn't understand. She lies quietly under the piano and watches the men and women around her make out while longing for the day when she will be a grown-up. Violet took on the responsibility of taking care of her brother for the next few days. But her mother didn't seem happy about it. She often scolded Violet for disturbing her rest. But the dirty brothel does not hide Violet's innocence. She is curious about everything around her. One day, at noon, a different kind of customer came to the brothel. His name is Belek and is a depressed photographer. He had never made a name for himself, so he wanted to come here and take pictures of the prostitutes to attract attention. The pimp didn't agree at first. She thought it would be better for the prostitutes to have more clients than to have them take pictures. But she changed her mind immediately for the sake of money. She arranged for Violet's mother to go with him. In a brothel, cameras are a rarity. Violet stood by curiously and kept talking about how she wanted to join in. She even thought that Belloc was a wizard because taking pictures is magic. Before the shoot was over, the John came down after him, cursing and demanded that Violet's mother continue to serve him. He finished by forcibly pulling off the emerald earrings he had given away. Violet's mother, of course, did not want to. The result was a farce. Violet watched this with a smile on her face but didn't try to help her mother because she was used to this kind of scenes. A few days later, Belek came to deliver the photos. In his photos, the women did not look like prostitutes, but rather glowed with elegance and modesty. So Violet had a better idea of the world in Belek's eyes. But Violet was surprised that Belek came to the brothel so many times, but he never made out with the prostitutes like other men did. When Violet saw that Belek didn't answer, she started to mock him like a pimp for missing out on the pleasures of life and being a poor sissy. Balak was obviously impatient with the repeated questions. After all, he is not obliged to explain his private life to a child. Violet was hurt by his indifferent attitude. What she hated most was when people treated her like a child. So she was looking forward to the day when she would really grow up. But she didn't expect her bar mitzvah to be held in this way. The girl wore a white gown like a saint, but sold her first night in public. Hey, how do we know she is a virgin? Have I ever lied to you before? Eventually, Violet's virginity was auctioned off to a middle-aged man for $400. I can feel the steam inside me right through my dress. She followed the example of other prostitutes and kept teasing the man. Although Violet pretended to be mature, she was still a child. She looked at the approaching man and was still afraid. Afterwards, Violet laughed and cried under the teasing of the crowd. She realized that the adult world was not as beautiful as she had imagined. From then on, Violet became a prostitute in a brothel. She began to receive men with more and more ease, sitting on their laps and talking seductively. On the other hand, photographer Belloc's work continues. The curves of women's bodies in the sunlight mesmerize him. There is no trace of levity in his eyes, only an appreciation of art. Violet touched Belloc's negative out of curiosity, which almost led the photo to be exposed and scrapped. Belloc saw it and angrily slapped her. Violet ran to bed and cried. Belloc saw this also realized that he had just gone too far and immediately comforted her. However, what Violet cared about was not that he slapped her, but that Belloc only liked her mother and did not like her. In fact, as a child, Violet does not know what love is. She only knows that Belloc is not like other men. Belloc would not touch her freely, and that's the biggest problem. How can she have the ability to love someone if she has never felt real love? After lunch that day, her mother suddenly made a shocking announcement. She was getting married and leaving the brothel. This is probably the best ending that every prostitute can imagine. But she concealed Violet's existence to preserve the marriage and took only her young son with her. Since then, Violet has lost her only support. Only Belloc was always there for her. One day, a group of people were playing hide and seek in the house. Violet cleverly distracted the others and sneaked to Belloc's hiding place. The young girl put her arm around the man's shoulders and kissed him boldly. Like that? He didn't say anything, but he was over the moon. He didn't want to admit 
and didn't dare to admit that he was in love with a 14-year-old girl. Balak was bound by his feelings and began to worry about the girl's future. And so did Violet. She was always looking in his direction when she received other customers. But Violet is still a child, and she often makes mistakes out of impulsiveness. On this day, she was put in the dark room by the biddy again for transgressions. She was beaten severely. Violet left the brothel in a feat of rage, taking her luggage with her. Without any family, she found Belloc's place according to her address book and asked to live with him. Belloc, who already had a crush on Violet, didn't object and kept her for a while. That night, Violet visited all the rooms like a grown-up. Then she excitedly told Belloc that she liked it here. She wanted to be his lover and be with him wholeheartedly. Belloc was hesitant at first, but he finally did not resist the temptation to hold her tightly in his arms. And so, they began an age gap relationship. Belloc loves Violet's innocence and romance, and often buys her dolls to please her. He saw her as his artistic lover and took many beautiful pictures of her. At first their life was really sweet, but as time went on, the conflict between them due to the age difference became obvious. Violet is very possessive about love. She couldn't understand Belloc's love for photography and often destroyed his equipment out of curiosity. And Belloc believes that art is always more important than love. So he kicked Violet out of the house after another of her caprices. With nowhere else to go, Violet returns to the brothel. But then she sees a demonstration. People were holding torches against the existence of the red light district. The brothel was forced to close down completely. Violet has no choice but to return to the streets with her luggage. Belloc, who had heard the news, arrived. He proposed to Violet in the street. Violet was happy to agree to him and marry Balak officially. But she did not have time to enjoy the sweetness of the new marriage. An unexpected visitor arrives unexpectedly. It's Violet's mother. She had convinced her husband to accept Violet as his stepdaughter. She's here to take her daughter away with her. I want to send Violet to school, and she has to be raised right. Of course, Bellic doesn't want to, because he had already fallen in love with this innocent and passionate girl. But when Violet looked at him innocently and asked him why he couldn't leave with her, Bellic suddenly understood Violet's decision. She was the brightest firework he had ever seen, but he was just a passerby on her way of life. So in the end, he chose to let go. At that station, crowds of people were passing by and heading to their next stops. Violet's stepfather happily took out a new camera to take a picture of them. Violet looks at the camera silently. She didn't look happy or sad. She's going to start her new life. Violet has been living in such a complicated place as the red light district since she was born. Thickness of human nature and trait of eroticism were normal life for this 12-year-old girl. Her longing for the adult world made her imitate the accent and behavior of those around her. But when she really stepped out as she wished, she realized that the desires of adults were so bad. Even in such a world, she has not lost her innocence. We can occasionally see her angelic and innocent smile on her almost numb face. I think her love for Belloc is more akin to a child's dependence on its elders. Violet doesn't know the difference between like and love, so she mistook Belloc's care for her for the love between a man and a woman. In the beginning of such an illicit love relationship, is also destined to have no good results.